Hello folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Justice and this is Mr. J Graphics. If today be your first time here, please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. It helps us, it helps you to get notification anytime I upload a new video. Please, if you find this video helpful, click the thumbs up. Thank you let's jump right into the video today i'm going to teach you how to design a funeral receipt a funeral receipt so without much further ado let's jump right into photoshop so i've already launched my photoshop so let's go back um when you see this information right here these are the informations that i'm going to use for the photoshop we have um the flowers and then the text so i'm going to teach you how to um it's all about receipt a colorful receipt for a funeral so let's go to file i'm going to create um our size then once you click you come to print because the prints give you the quality i mean um the quality of the design once you click this then you have to use um this one is a default size okay so i'll go directly to this and then create a size um 7.5 by 2.3 let's make it that way and then press okay now once i'm done this what i'm going to do is um, this is the size for the receipt so right now i'm going to uh, you know first of all i told you sometimes when you are designing you know because of electricity issues so sometimes when you are designing after you create a size okay when the document the new document panel appear like this make sure you save the name you you save the work for now for now receipt save the work before you what you continue the work because like three this um, electric power can easily go off at any time so right here we are going directly to create our design now i'm going for my my rectangle and i'm going to draw let me go with ruler starting using ruler right here and now another one here okay so i'm going to draw from here to here right now what i'm going to do is you see this one i made a sketch right here so when you see this this is what i'm actually going to do all right so let's jump right into it so just look at what i'm going to do here all right okay so now um i'm going to take off the field in here so i'll come to this end and now i'm going to take off the field now you can't see anything then you come to fx you come to stroke like this all right it's in gradient so let's make it color okay like that and now once you've done this all right once you've done this should we make it okay because it's a color so let's because it's a color so let's um let's change the fill type to gradient and then use the gradient color right so because we are making a colorful um Cause it's a colorful so let's change this one to to something like this and now 
let's change this one because we want to be like that okay so once you this is done i'm going to change the style to reflect it like this okay so let's create multiple colors this one will come here and this one will come here like this so now we made a multiple colors right there and then let's try to change the rotate the angle and see how it's going to look like okay i think this is okay with the now once this one is done just um tool you, you just make sure you cut this off so you just right stand here and you highlight this end make sure this is selected okay so click it before you press you just press you hold control key and then press x on your keyboard and this will cut off once it's done you just now i'm going to create a line here where the ruler is so let's make this one black and then you stand somewhere here and then you create a line okay so once this is done what you have to do is close this gap um let me increase it a little bit like that now let's change the change the line out to this or this because you see this one look like okay right so have to make sure this one to look like the same thing all right so once this is done you can see right there okay so just expand this one to the line like that so once this one is gone is done now what we have what we are going to do is um i'm going to i'm going to bring in some some details because let's make let's make a colorful background so i'm going to select make sure you select the background once you create um once you create a background it automatically whenever you create a shape it automatically creates layer for you so this is not the background i need so i come back to once you select come back to fx okay then let's change the style to linear and then rotate it like this okay so just play with the angle so you get what you want now i'm going to use okay now this is what i need and this one i'm going to make it white 
okay so just play along play along with the until you get what you want right okay so let's decrease uh oh I think this color is kind of too brighter so let's make it like this okay I think this is okay now once you're done after you're done you just lock it so that it will not distract you Um, so okay, so once this is done, just go ahead and then create. I'm going for my resources so come back I'll go to my resource and I'm going to choose um, I'm going to use this picture okay the former president John Fifi Atamills may your soul rest in perfect peace Mr. President, so I'll go for my resources. The the resource that I'm going to use. So when we come here, I'm going to use this this um, just unlock it. After you unlock it, you come here. You take off. You are going to use magic eraser just click on it and the background will definitely go away so let me shift this in here then i'm going to change the color to gradient gradient so I'm going to change the color to just just look at what is going on here all right just look at what's going on here so I'm going to change this one to now press ok and now flip the angle right here should be like this right now I'm going to change the reflected I'm going to change to reflected all right um, let's use linear and then make sure this one will come to the middle just click on this and automatically just come and click here you get the same color right there okay so this is how it works okay so okay i think this is how i'm going to and now come to properties panel just make sure you rotate this kind of then i'm going to create uh, i'm going to create stroke so just click on that 
and create a stroke change the stroke to color and then okay okay so as this is done just go for your picture make sure you draw a rectangle okay so at the back of at the back of this um, frame make sure you draw a rectangle because that is where you're going to place the picture inside so just draw a picture once you draw um shape just push it back here okay after you've done that then you go for your picture you go for your picture then you place it inside so just take your time make sure you position your position it right here and this one to right here this one to right here like that and now I'm going to create stroke for the so I'm going to create a stroke let me give out a white stroke and then increase it a little bit okay then expand your picture to fill okay i haven't created make sure you create a clipping mask so you right click on the picture and you click clipping mask so it will go inside of this so it's all the same so let's bring uh our name here so it's going to be like this so once this one is done let's change the let's change the color to this and then let's make this one red and um, black Okay. Acknowledgement receipt. Now, what we have to do, make sure you lock this so that it will not distract. So, lock this one. Then, push this one a little bit. Okay. Push this one a little bit. After you've done that, then you go back for this, the children. Um, decrease the size to fix in here. So this is a receipt, a colorful receipt for a funeral. So you try to you just take time and position it right here. Now you go for the name.
So we're going to decrease the size. And we'll bring it here. Zoom in. Drop your age here. Let me change this font to play fair. Okay, so once you've done this, increase it a little bit. Then type age. So age. You decrease it and drop it right here. Let's make it cup. Simple like like that. So what is left is what? You bring in your so we don't need this anymore. So we just close it. Now what is left is what is this one. So we just drag that and then reduce the size. This is actually um, a shape. It's it's a shape. Okay, so you just use shapes to create a line. You get it so I think we need this one here increase it like that and here you go that's we are done now what is left so you just look at this one it's kind of a little bit different right looking at this one and then this one it's kind of a little bit different all right but it's all what it's all the same So what is left is you just bring in the, in the details right here. So just drop it right here. Okay, this one also need Increase it. Now, here you go. Let me change the. Let me change you to. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your sympathy. Sympathy. Okay, so let me change this one to Miss Mistral font like that. So this font is called Mistral. So once you've done that, you know, this is where, when you look at the both side, this is where you're actually going to tear for whoever that is coming to the funeral, okay? After the person make any payment, this is what you are going to tear and you are going to keep the side. So you have to make sure all this information is right here. 
so what i'm going to do is just going to i'm just going to highlight all of these okay I'm going to highlight all of these and duplicate it and then shift it right here right so all of this will be here and I'm going to expand it like that but the smaller it's okay now let me shift the age okay so this one come to somewhere here and this one to here This one here and then bring this one here okay so guys this is the end of this tutorial I know you've learned something here and please if you're new here kindly do me a favor subscribe and please click the like button click the like button thank you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.